Hello and welcome back to Today I want to talk about Nimis and how a lot of the items we thought didn't work with Nimis actually do work with a little bit of Projby investment. Not necessarily a little bit, but actually kind of a decent amount, but certain builds might be able to pull this off. Now, I want to demonstrate this real quickly with Ethereal Knives. And I want to say to start this off with, this was brought to me by, I believe it was Void, if I'm remembering correctly. Void was like, hey, I'm noticing I can get projectiles to return with, I think he said EK or Icicle Mine, and I have a lot of Proj speed. Is that actually how it's supposed to work? And then we tested it some more and found out, yes, it is working. I'm going to explain what I think is happening. So first off, right now, I was just testing this out with this character to ek you can see occasionally some of the projectiles return the ones that are returning are hitting a wall so to start things off with if you hit a wall with a lot of skills like ek like icicle mine those projectiles will just return and then you can essentially get a lot of times double damage with skills if you pierce through hit a wall and come back and hit the enemy now there's actually a scenario where even if you aren't hitting a wall the projectiles still return i'm going to showcase that real quick here so stay instead of <clears throat> The broad speed here, I have this linked to faster projectiles. Now, this character has roughly, I think I did the math, I have about 163% prod speed. This takes us to 243, and I have the mastery for 15% more projectile speeds. Now, you'll see when we do EK now, a lot of the projectiles return, if not all of them. I can't 100% to all, I, I think it's like 90%. I feel like not every single time all of them return, but most of them return. And you'll see there are ones that are going out into the void. Basically, there's no wall over there, but they're returning. Now, why are they returning? Well, I think this is how this works. This is my guess, but basically there's a limit to how far projectiles can go away from you. And basically, I think it's because it's how the game calculates essentially the game isn't going to try to render and calculate information for every single monster in an entire map because that would be too much uh it would be too much of a load in terms of like what has to be processed so i think there's basically a coal of distance around you which is processed and i think once you hit that distance with a projectile the game asks itself okay what do we do with this projectile well it still has the condition to return we'll send it back that's my theory basically there's a limit on how far projectiles can go or there's that wall i think is how it works that's my theory at least and i'll showcase with uh if i put another 30 percent proj speed on it with a curry ward uh in case it wasn't evident enough that we were returning basically all the projectiles especially even the projectiles going off into the void in this hideout hopefully this showcases it pretty well that you see the projectiles go in and out i know it's happening fast but you compare this to without the crew reward without the faster proj to this um and to me it's pretty evident that this one is only returning projectiles when they hit a wall versus this one with a little bit more juice and this is essentially around 250 percent proj with the 15 percent more mastery that i think is roughly the break point for ethereal knives for other skills it might be lower it might be higher it depends what the base like distance a projectile normally travels ek to begin with, without any prod speed, it just doesn't go very far. Like EK, when you start off, it can like go like this far. Like it's it's barely to the half of your screen that EK goes at like baseline when it's like level one or whatever. Other skills might have a uh, a bigger baseline and thus they don't need quite as much projectile speed to hit that wall and then come back. And then certain builds can actually get a lot of free projectile speed. For example, if you're playing Icicle Miner, which I did with that alt quality that gives prod speed per uh, frenzy charge, I believe that all quality is giving 100 percent proj speed it's almost taking you to the point where those projectiles start to returning pretty consistently if you have just a little bit more proj speed on a few other pieces of gear sort of thing so keep that in mind when i'm talking about this that this is the sort of thing where it depends on the skill for ek it's around 250 percent projectile speed for other skills it might be different now why is this useful well it allows you to get nimbus double damage and it allows for uh aesthetics <laughs> there's something cool about seeing projectiles for uh return ultimately this character i'm not gonna end up using projectile speed because this character I'll, I'll make a video on it separately but moral of the story is me traveling out to this projectile cluster i need this and i need a faster proj for it to consistently return on the projectile uh and so it's not it's just not consistent enough is all i have to say it's just not consistent enough it still is something i still i, I still want to do this actually try actually stacking build concept but I'm going to save it for another video and I'm going to respec and change my tree around, change a decent amount of stuff. And I'm probably going to swap in doing 
and start doing something like glacial cascade that's what i'm excited about doing so anyways this is just a video to showcase you can get projectiles return with other skills that may have been showcased to not be able to return but that's only because they didn't have enough projectile speed to hit that sort of imaginary barrier that the game sets for how far it starts to calculate things i think that's my theory on it that might not be why they're returning there might be another explanation for it but that's the thing that makes sense to me conceptually for why you can send a projectile out into the void here there's nothing over here and you can see this is like a pretty far distance right this this um hideout is is quite quite large in terms of distance you you could you could technically test for how far things are going so i know when i'm sending projectiles out this way and out this way and if they're returning they're not hitting anything and they're still returning so that's just to showcase that hopefully you found this interesting and maybe it gives you an idea of a build you thought about trying it with nimbus and then you looked up uh, jung's video and it showcased oh it doesn't return unless i hit a wall well you can actually force a lot of things that uh, a lot of things can return if you just have enough projectile speed so anyways as always thank you for watching and take care exiles peace out have a good one